this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me again today. And today's video is a tutorial to make this beautiful gift box all ready for Christmas. As you can see, it's quite a big size, this one. Um, it's difficult for me to get the whole thing in the on the screen for you, but you can see it's very, very shiny and blingy. So I love that for Christmas. I love a bit of sparkle and, and shiny for Christmas. Um, just got a bit of ribbon decoration up here, one of our foil snowflakes and a little mess uh, really simple to make but really beautiful and the real surprise is what's inside so if I just take off the gold clip the ribbon and the sequin trim are just attached with the gold clip so they're not attached to the box if I open the box can you see oh it's gone needs to focus there we go um, in the box is a little mini bottle of Prosecco um, who doesn't like a bit of fizz at Christmas? Um, I'm not a great one for drinking, but I do like a bit of fizz at Christmas, a nice sparkling wine, and Prosecco fits that bill. And so this box just fits this. This is a tiny bottle. This is only 20 centilitres, so um, not a huge bottle, but just enough for a glass or two um, to wet your whistle, as they say. So we're going to make a version of this box. So like I said, the, the, um, the decoration at the top here, just hold it in place, and clip it on with the clip and it's fine it's all secured um, really pretty really easy I'm going to show you how to make it so first of all you need a bit of um, designer series paper a bit of pattern paper um, I'm using our bundle of love um, pa pattern paper today actually this one is in very vanilla foiled in gold really really pretty this is from the same pack this box is from the same pack um, so it's not a Christmas paper, but actually it does make beautiful Christmas packaging, I think. Um, and I have cut, I've taken a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, but I've cut four and a half centimetres off the end here. So mine now measures 26 by 30. Um, so you just need to trim off that little um, strip at the end there. So bring in my scoring board. And I've got my metric plate on top here because, as you know, I like to work in metric. But I will give you the measurements in Imperial as well because I know some of you like to work in Imperial. And what we're going to do first of all is we're going to um, score at six centimetre intervals. So we're going to score all the way down. This is on the, we've got the short side at the top here, okay, and the long side going down. So we're going to score at six centimetres, at 12 centimetres at 18 centimetres and at 24 centimetres. So intervals of six each time. I'll just go over those lines again to make sure they're nice and scored really firmly. And if you're working in, um, in Imperial, I think this is about um, two and three eighths, uh, four and six eighths, I'll work it out and put it on my blog actually seven inches and then so on I'll work it out and put it on my blog so that you've got those all written down um, then turn the paper so we've got the long side at the top and then you just need to score at four centimeters so just score along the base at four centimeters that's all the scoring done put my scoreboard away and take my burnisher my bone folder and I'm going to burnish all of those folds so that we get nice crisp folds on all of those so just fold where the score lines are press down really hard if you don't have a bone folder you could use you can use um, the handle of a knife or some scissors there are lots of things you can use but a bone folder does make the job a lot easier if you haven't already got one um, and I use it I, I don't think there's a day go by when I don't use my bone folder um, and then just the fold at the bottom and so we end up with our piece of card uh, with four score lines going down this way and one along the bottom okay so what we're now going to do I'm going to turn it over because it makes it slightly easier to see is we're going to cut off this little tab here and I'm just doing a slightly wedge shape if you can see so slightly angling the sides um, just cut off there and then at each score line just up to the horizontal score line just cut out a little wedge this is going to be the base of our box so there, another one here, 
don't know how well you can see the score lines in the video. They're quite tricky to see when it's very patterned paper. And the final one here, cut out a little wedge. And just wedge, just a tiny wedge off the end of this one. Okay, so that you end up with the bottom looking like that. If I turn it over, can you see? Um, yeah, okay. So what we need to do is this is going to glue and fix onto there. So we need to glue along this line here. And today I'm going to use Fast Fuse. Okay, this is a this is a really good adhesive um, for gluing boxes. It's really permanent and really, really quick and easy to use. As long as you know how. There is a bit of a, a, a knack. So let me see if I can show you. So you don't need too hard a pressure. Fairly light pressure all the way down. And then when you get to the bottom, you tick. Don't know if you could see that because I was off camera. Let's move it up a little bit. I'll do another line down here. So down here and tick and i don't know if you can see that we've got lines of adhesive on there can you see where it's glued so turn it over and this will glue to here like so there we go that will meet and you can see it's an instant bond with the um, fast fuse really great okay so that's the basis of our box what we now need to do is to fold in the ed ends there to make the base, make the base like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue on opposite sides here and here. I'm not going to glue, these two are going to fold in and then I'll have one with glue on there and one with glue on there. Okay, so again I'm going to use my fast fuse. Down and tick, down and tick down and tick and on the other side down and tick down and tick down and tick okay there we go and so now I'm going to push in the two that didn't have glue and then I'm going to turn this around it's pushing the two that didn't have glue and then make sure the box is straight can you see that um, let me put it somewhere where you can see it make sure the box is straight and not skewed before you glue the first panel down and then glue the other one and because it's difficult to get any pressure on there you might just want to take a ruler or something like that and just the bottom okay so now we've got our basic box shape with a nice secure bottom and it should be nice and secure using the fast fuse because if we're going to put Prosecco in it we don't want it to be dropping out of the bottom of our box do we okay so think about where your where your um, seam is so make sure that's at the back not at the front of your box um, you're going to take uh, how am I going to show you this there we go um, going to just push so trying to make sure that this corner and this corner and this corner and this corner meet and just press them together. No scoring or anything needed, just press those together. So we've got a nice top to our box now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our gold library clips. I'm going to pack it like this of... Ooh, how many? 20. 20 in a packet. So quite a lot there. Loads to be using. Um, I'm going to take one of those, which is going to seal the top of our box. So it's not going to have any glue or anything. It's going to be just a little clip that seals it. But to, to, to um, decorate it even more, we're going to use a little strip of um, our gold metallic edged um, ribbon in very vanilla which matches exactly with our box and then we're also going to take a little strip of our mini sequin trim we need about 20 centimeters of each so just just measure 20 centimeters doesn't have to be exact though there we go so I've got a piece of ribbon that I'm going to fold over and I've got a piece of sequin trim that I'm also going to fold over and lay on top of the ribbon and I'm just going to secure those under the, the library clip. Of course, wait to do this until you've put in your box, whatever it is you're going to put in it. There we go. So just like that. And just gives a bit of decoration to our box without too much fuss. 
The last thing we're going to do is put the decoration on the front. If I bring my box back in that I've made, you can see we've used one of our foiled snowflakes and then we've got a Merry Christmas greeting here on an oval panel. Okay, so to do that, I used our um, snowflake sentiment stamp set. This is a really pretty set, really pretty um, greetings here and some lovely snowflakes um, and a to and from which is really useful when you're doing tags and things. So some useful to, um, stamps here. I'm going to use the Merry Christmas one. It actually says Merry Christmas from our family to yours but actually I don't want it to say from our family to yours so I'm going to show you a little trick that I do to, to not have to do that. So I need a piece of very vanilla card to stamp on. I've already mounted my stamp I think on a C block. This is a Merry Christmas stamp on the C block um, and I'm going to use a piece of washi tape to cover the bit of the stamp that I don't want. I'm then going to use Versamark ink to stamp and then I need to remove the washi tape and stamp on my piece of very vanilla. Then I'm going to bring in my gold embossing powder which I've got in a container so it's easier to use rather than the little pots that it comes in. Oh, I can get the lid off. There we go. So just sprinkle your very vanilla, your gold embossing paper powder over your very vanilla. What I forgot to do was use my embossing buddy actually, but that's fine because I'll just use a paintbrush, tiny paintbrush to just get rid of any flecks there that I don't want. Give it a blow as well. There we go, that's fine. Okay, and then I just need to bring in my heat gun and emboss. Heat that up until it embosses. And I've actually got one that I've die cut already. Um, just because I don't think you need to see me die cutting on camera, you know how to do that. Um, so when this is embossed, I just wanted to show you the embossing. Can you see it turning there as I emboss it? Um, so that's all done. Um, but the one that I've already got, hopefully is on here somewhere. What have I done with it? <laughs> oh, here it is. Um, there we go. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put some fast fuse on the back of, oh, I forgot to tick. Don't forget to tick at the end, otherwise you will get in a sticky mess. On my snowflake. And again on the back here. Oh, tick. Oh, it's because I'm hurrying because I can see my battery's going on my camera. Um, and put that on our box and we're done. So hope you enjoyed that project today really nice little gift box for Christmas um, could be done in other papers for birthdays though I think a bottle of Prosecco is welcome as welcome present anytime hope you've enjoyed it hope you'll have a go at making it yourself um, do come back another day and see my other videos I've got loads of Christmas projects to show you but for now bye and have a nice day